All right, aside from Alliance, festival goers also in town for several events, including Life is Beautiful. Here's a look at today's lineup. The headliners tonight, some big ones, Chance the Rapper and Billie Eilish. Nice. Aside from the music acts, there will also be artists, vendors, other performers. All of this is good news for our economy. And with that part of the story, we go to 13 Action News reporter Alicia Patillo, who is downtown, where thousands will fill the streets in just a few hours. Alicia, you have a phenomenal view. Do we have the El Cortez to thank for your view? <laughs> Yes, we have the El Cortez to thank for our view. We are at the top of their parking deck. Check it out. This is a big weekend right now. Setup is underway. The stages are set. The tents are up for entry. You're taking a live look right now. The gates are up and security is already out down below. Now with the festival heading into its seventh year, organizers anticipate this will be their biggest crowd yet. And that means a big money for the city. The three day festival returns to downtown Las Vegas this weekend with huge stars like Chance the Rapper, the Black Keys and Post Malone. But this weekend is much more than just the music. It's a spotlight for local artists, comedians and poets. The LVCBA predicts the festival will have a huge economic impact. More than $40 million pumped into our city. Samantha Rayburn, operations manager, shares why this festival is a big win for our valley. I'm a, lot, a native Las Vegan. I'm excited to be able to bring in the Las Vegas local artists and make them featured in this event because I think having everything downtown and having it really embedded in Las Vegas, inviting local artists and having local artists really showcases um, what we have in the city. All right, the LVCVA predicts more than 186 thousand people will attend the three day festival with over 40,000 of those guests being from out of town. So it's a big weekend. Tickets are still available. You can find a link on our website at KTNV.com reporting live at El Cortez, Alicia Batillo, 13 Action News.